Walking houses are cool, but walking TNT eaters are cooler. This is a TNT eater. If you guys don't know what a TNT eater is, then, uh, well, it's pretty much this thing. It's this kind of meme that arose out of nowhere. And I've no idea its origins, but it looks really stupid and funny, and there's so many variations. So I decided to make a big one. This one looks very weird, but I think it captures the very, uh, it has some good legs, if you know what I mean. Like, you can see these, these little chonky legs really fit in. I kind of made a more thick body waist right here, but, you know, it's it's fine. This this face took hours, and it still looks so stupid and smushed. All right, let's just grab an obsidian and a flint and steel, and we can now watch as this TNT eater blows up its smaller version. Now, regretfully, this is a really shorter video, so it's not going to get recommended to a lot of people, so if you do enjoy that, consider leaving a like and subscribing. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Anyway, moving on, here we go. And I, at the end of this video, I will provide a tutorial for the TNT cannon if you all are interested, because this took a lot of time to develop, more than anything else in this build, probably. But if we just put a flint and steel right here, you can see the whole contraption starts to move, and it just, it's just walking along, and, and yeah, and he's just gone. There's nothing you can do about it. And then the, the face moves in such a weird way. You can see, like, the sides get pressed out first. And it's just stepping along. You can see the feet move in perfect harmony. And it, this guy is like the Jesus butt of air. He can literally walk on air. You can see as he approaches the crater, he has no problem walking, and, and he's just crawling along, shooting TNT, making a whole mess. What, what, a, what a beautiful and glorious contraption this is, really. Let's just take some time to appreciate the beauty of slime blocks in Minecraft. He's uh, levitating. Oh god, that's a lot of mobs. That's a lot of mobs. Stop the lag. The lag hurts me. Please, peaceful difficulty. Boom, boom, boom. Bats, you suck. Anyway, this is the entire building in all of its glory. I've added some little blocks around the legs, like wood and andesite, to make it look more grindstone-y. That's the block for the TNT, botter, TNT yeater body, Jesus. But that's pretty much the whole build. If you only want to see this, then thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But if you are curious, I am going to show a tutorial on how I built the TNT cannon, so you can find this one. I'll also have another launching mechanism, so if you want to hit it up, and like sideways and up, I'll also show you guys how to do that one. So if you go over here, you can see my trial and error with this. This took a lot of time to perfect, and uh, I first got this design. This design is pretty interesting, and the problem is, so this was my original design for the TNT cannon. Well, actually, there was a very original original design, where the TNT would just fall and I would push it, but that design is no longer existing, and sometimes the TNT just wouldn't get pushed. So I decided to have an arm, like this terracotta right here, that catches the TNT, and then the slime blocks sweep it over. So I hope we can get that effect right now. But well, sometimes, the TNT would just land on the slime block, and and stuff like that would happen. So sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't work. And that took me a while to figure out, because now I had to account if the slime block was... What if it landed on the slime block? So then I came up with this. So now there's a thing that pushes from the top, and a thing that pushes from the side. And this is kind of almost the module I settled on. And if you go on here, sometimes it lands in the front, which is what it's originally meant to do. And there it is, and it still gets pushed. So it still works. This one's this is a pretty good design. I eventually shortened it for the original over there. But over here, this is now the launching mechanism. I wanted it to go up, but I thought the TNT eater kind of threw the TNT down and not an arc upwards. Plus, it wouldn't explode on the ground. So I decided just not to go with that. But this is what this design looks like. This 100% works. It is much bigger, though. So, boom. It's pretty cool. It, de it definitely is pretty cool. You just place pistons and I timed it pretty well. It's a very interesting circuit. The fact that it works is really cool. Um, this thing, this this is a really interesting circuit. I actually developed this in about 2017, 2018 when I started my channel. One of my first videos was a slime block scorpion TNT launcher, which actually involved this exact mechanic to throw the TNT. This, this is more new though. Uh, honey blocks are important here, so this contrast does have to exist. And this is the final design I ended up using, so this is much a much smaller version of the design. And it does look really nice, so if we just place redstone block here and place a piston, you can see it does work. And this is the design that's currently being used inside the TNT Eater. And finally, if you are all interested, there's a tutorial for this on YouTube already, but if you do want to make a TNT duper, all you need is TNT, you need some slime, uh, detector rail, minecart, uh, walls of any choice, so two walls, and a piston. And of course, a dead coral fan. So now all you have to do is go like this, go up a few blocks, and then make this little shape right here. So one out, one out, and then boop, 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 down here too, dead coral right there, walls, and TNT. And then you're just done. All you have to do is push it one over to the side. So I'm going to get a redstone block, but you can activate this however you'd like. 
and then boom and now whenever you push this it duplicates in two directions so I can push it this way and the TNT will dupe and I can push it the other way and the TNT will dupe and now it's broken but that's, that's how this whole thing works and that is the end of the video if you guys have enjoyed then consider subscribing this is a really fun one to make I know it's short and if you have it to the end then I really appreciate it but I'll see you on tomorrow thank you so much for watching and peace out